Samuel was grieving, Samuel had poured out his whole life on the nation of Israel. And now they were saying to him, if you read the whole story, for Samuel chapter eight, behold, you're old and your sons walk not in your ways. He's poured it out on his congregation, the nation of Israel, and they've rejected it. We want a new way. We want a king. We want to go a different way. And now he filled his horn up again and he poured it out on his sons that those boys did not walk in the ways of their father. He's a two-time loser. So now there's this guy named Saul and God says, fill your horn with oil and go pour it on him. And he was the first king of Israel and he was so anointed and so powerful. Then the story ends tragically because Saul, whom he had anointed, had fallen to great sin and been rejected now by God. The climate of rejection steps into Samuel's life. He's poured it out and poured it out and poured it out and he is drained. His horn is empty. You know, there's just something about life that can empty your spirit. You're still carrying on, still going about, still moving around. But inside, spiritually, you're empty. To 1 Samuel chapter 16, how long will you mourn for Saul? Seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel, fill your horn with oil and go. God said, fill your horn with oil. One more time. It looked like all, it hadn't worked. But here comes that final filling of the horn with oil. And it was the greatest thing. Why? Because there's a guy named David that you're going to pour the anointing on. He's going to take a city from the Gibeonites that's going to become Jerusalem. By the way, in that city, there's going to be someone who is going to carry a cross and die on that cross and he'll be known as the son of David. And his name will be called Jesus. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. I said, every one of you who say Jesus is Lord of my life, you've got to fill that horn with fresh oil that you just don't keep standing there drained inwardly of all the joy of the Lord because of all of the cuts and the nicks. So you must Claim Psalms 92 and 10. Lord, fill my horn with fresh oil.